In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to resize a frame along with its content in Figma. If you've ever tried to resize a frame and notice that the contents stay the same size, leaving everything uneven, this tutorial is just for you. Let's dive into the details of how you can scale both the frame and its contents seamlessly. So you might have experienced this before. You drag the edges of your frame, expecting everything inside to adjust proportionally, but the contents remain stubbornly unaltered. This can lead to your design looking a bit off, and nobody wants that. Luckily, Figma provides us with a handy tool to tackle this exact problem. First, you'll want to select the frame that you want to resize. It might seem like a straightforward step, but it's important to ensure that the frame itself is selected and not just an individual element inside it. Once you have your frame selected, you're going to use a feature called the Scale Tool. This tool makes resizing a breeze by taking care of the proportions for you. To activate the Scale Tool, all you need to do is press the K key on your keyboard. Think of it like a magic wand that instantly switches your mode from normal resizing to scale resizing. Now comes the fun part. When you try to resize the frame again, you will notice that not only does the frame grow or shrink, but the elements inside it also scale in harmony with the frame. This is how you ensure that everything stays proportionate and visually aligned. It really is as simple as that. With just a single key press and a little dragging, you can transform the way you work on frames in Figma. This simple trick can save you so much time and hassle, particularly when working on complex designs where every element needs to be precisely proportioned. Remember, the goal is to keep your designs looking consistent and professional, and understanding how to properly use the scale tool is a crucial step in achieving that. As you practice, it will become second nature, and you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and it solves any resizing frustrations you may have encountered in the past while using Figma. Be sure to try it out on your next design project and see the difference it makes. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to reach out. Keep designing and have a great day.